my news evolution good friends and colleagues uh man we've been at this for a while we've been doing news evolution for a couple years and we do this monthly and uh, i just have to say i mean look at alfred's hair no 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 mean to like um put a lot of attention on it but this is because of c60 and i have to say since i've started to use the product there's an energy in me that uh it's always been there but it's like major right now like the tech upgrades and just having more of an ability to navigate just the website world have stronger boundaries um and just really feel motivated to complete some very important things in my life including securing um some land here in montana i i, I can just tell since i started c60 it has a lot to do with that and i just wanted to give a shout out i'm not trying to overly Ooh. push a product but i mean look i i mean i don't mean to share your age but I mean, you're you are in your 80s. Patty Greer has uh, been the main person. What are you CEO? I mean, you've been making sure that I have <laughs> really started to use this product and became a distributor. And I know Alfred, you've been doing it for a while. I mean, look at the results, you guys. These aren't lies here. I mean, why would we lie? I <laughs> love kind of it. like we all have in common having major integrity. So anyway, go ahead, Patty. And then I know Alfred's got something really cool to present. But welcome everybody. Go ahead, Patty. You guys are great. Um, yes, I've always given you guys complimentary products and it took Laura a long time to say, okay, you know, I've got this huge line of things that people send me, but Alfred, oh my God, look at his hair. So hair, nails, skin, everything improves. And it's not C60. We have to clarify, this is the upgraded version of pure C60, not percentages or industrial grade but it's a whole different kind of C60. And we make both um, for 31 years at our lab. This is C60 Evo and it's like a hundred percent amazing. And I just, I'm giggling cause I love seeing Laura be impressed. And I know that, um, you know, you, like I said, you do all kinds of, you know, meditations and yoga and running a farm and you're constantly moving, but for you to notice is a huge compliment. And Alfred, you I call you our poster child now, Alfred. <laughs> like your hair should be, one would think gray at 80, but no, it's going black and incredibly long. Hey there. Hey, I'm King Neptune. Where's my scepter? Hey, Alfred. Okay, we're live now. Well, we're we are always welcome. Yeah. Yeah. But he's been oh, taking man. it too. And look, look at. Yeah, look oh at my God, look at the hair on you. That's right. That's what she's <laughs> All right, okay. I love you. It's a great product, and I feel super blessed that I get to, uh, you know, be partners with the guys that invented the machine that makes it 31 years ago. And look at them. They don't even look old. And I have to say that I tried this interesting facial treatment, and I'm peeling. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'll still go on camera, but I'll be a little dim. So excuse me if I'm a little dim lit, but I am here as your friend, and Loyal as could be with News Evolution, we three. Oh, okay. totally. So well, well, let's what are the themes for today, Alfred? Our news segments. Who would like to go first? Go, I Laura. know you have uh, some, some slides. So you guys want me to go first? Yeah. Well, I just did a webinar and I would love to share some highlights from that. I've connected a lot of dots recently. As far as the current news, I've kind of been staying away from, I wouldn't call it politics because we're not dealing with politics. We know there are a lot of deep state players that are imposters and they do want the divide and conquer. They want to keep us in the duality of the right versus left, even though some of those titles need to be used in order to be able to even put yourself on the map. Um, I'm kind of avoiding it because I'm waiting for some more breakthroughs, but I am aware of, you know, current headlines. And a lot of the headlines I think are personal to us. Where are we on our journey? How much have we done the inner work? How much are the disclosure narratives that we are connecting with actually truth? Because what I've come to discover is there's a lot of um, hidden elements to disclosure that have never been exposed that I've, you know, begun to get in touch with. And it helps, you know, to be born into a family that, okay, Eisenhower had a lot of ET contact, but regardless of any relations, I would be focused on this because it's an important piece. And I really feel that the dots that connect with the amount of research that both of you guys have done 
It's very important. And it's not just about him. It's about those that were in leadership positions before him. The fact that uh, our connection or agreements with extraterrestrials, uh, mostly uh, the darker kind, have, have been going on since the 1930s. And, you know, factions of the Anunnaki and where the Galactic Wars, like the Orion Wars, stepping down from the Lyran Wars, ended up really becoming a part of this particular Earth experience that a lot of us here at News Evolution bring a lot of light to when we look at the roots of the you-know-who that has that very special number um, and one plus three equals four. I'm careful because I want to put this on my um, YouTube channel, but I want to be careful because I know that there's a tension on me and it's not about medical misinformation. Patty and C60 Evo and what Alfred and I have to share isn't about steering anybody into making decisions based on um, claiming that it cures. It's just the proof is in the pudding, right? And here's the pudding. <laughs> and uh, when it comes to the other stuff, you know, it's to take what resonates and leave the rest. I've been in contact with the senior advisor to the Earth Alliance. I've been friends with Lisa Renee for a while. I've been collaborators and colleagues of both Patty and Alfred. And Alfred and I, in our original interviews, go back all the way to 2010, 2011 um, with our friend Andrew Bishago, trying to really bring to light what that Mars recruitment, what Project Pegasus, what Alfred's book and the time travel component that he's written books about, five books recently, which is amazing, um, really shed light on. And of course, Patty and her great understanding of the crop circles, things that most people don't even know about the crop circles and all of her incredible documentaries and contributions to help us to understand all of this. I mean, it's so important that we connect the dots to understand the larger picture of what's going on because divide and conquer and compartmentalism in the information, not just people's positions in these particular, which we aren't a part of, um, have created, you know, compartmentalism. You know, there might be history of, of of different things, especially, you know, when you were involved in the Carter administration and things connected to uh, time travel and my connection with Looking Glass and all of that doesn't mean that, you know, we are under any kind of oath or we made any kind of agreements. We were really here to shed light on the truth. And Alfred, of course, your story is for you to explain to people. I don't want to reiterate it and get anything wrong. And same with you, Patty. And, you know, I have a featured page on my website where, you know, and Alfred's links and Patty's links, we always put under the description to kind of get more of an idea of what I'm talking about. So a lot of my recent presentations, and I'll just do a quick share screen, I've really got into like a whole other level of this kind of stuff. And uh, I want everything to be, you know, free. But when it comes down to hours and hours and hours of research and a lifelong mission to bring this stuff forward, it's not always possible. So I try and have the most fair um, prices connected to the work I do. And I know we all you know, have that in common, but it's like, you know, so um, real quick, there's a lot that I've already shared in presentations, but just to bring it back, um, you know, talking about just our ancient history our galactic history, some of the communications coming through Dan Cooper about uh, Eisenhower not signing treaties with the Greys, actually being done behind his back with MJ-12, the unconditional surrender agreement that took place in 1952 when the UFOs were flown over the capital, which were really a part of the ships coming out of Antarctica. Um, you know, there's also dots that have been connected with the Guardian of the Cell Worlds, and Eisenhower's relationship to the Dakota star beings connected to the uh, Nakota, Lakota, and Dakota Sioux Nation, which I've been doing presentations. There's me and my granddad, <laughs> Eisenhower's son and my sister. Because a lot of people think I'm a fraud. So it's like, here's some family photos. That's us outside of Gettysburg Farm. Um, and the true descendant uh, energy of uh, ancestry is uh, the Mennonite. And, um, and I know firsthand because I've been in this family. So I brought up why this administration needs to be redeemed and exonerated and understood because his administration was pivotal in what took place after the Second World War and his exchanges with extraterrestrials, most especially Val Thor and the Guardians. Because to live an existence that is built on lies and deception, how can one heal, grow, reflect, and transform? So we know this when we're healing ourselves. If we are given a false memories about our childhood, how are we supposed to heal? So same thing with history. And it goes way beyond him. And again, it doesn't really matter if I'm related. I'm here for truth, even if I don't like the truth that I hear. So the aviary is connected to those that recruited me to go to Mars, how that relates to looking glass technologies. And this is stuff I brought up before, but 
here's a picture of where I ended up instead of on Mars, which is where they wanted me to be in 2012. I ended up here at the Star Knowledge Conference. Look at all the orbs. And um, just talking about the depths of my work, restoring the tree of life, seven root races, five cloister races to rebuild the 12 strand DNA architecture, which relates to the planetary grid network and the multidimensional cosmos that we're all a part of. And, uh, and this is all about things that need to be addressed, the truth that must be known about our true origins, what we are really made of, our galactic history and earth history. Rewritten history puts us, I feel, on a false timeline trajectory that is not a pleasant or good future as we see. I also bring to light um, the rumors about Eisenhower death camps and one of the best resources that people can look into who's a renowned historian with no reason to just be spouting off whatever his opinion is. He's done a number of documentaries and my own research too, talk about what really happened at the death camps. And he has a YouTube video, which is a documentary style video that really explains and exonerates him from the blame that um, this one book called Other Losses has placed upon him. And a lot of what I'm sharing is not to just defend because I get trolled all the time and I get nasty letters and I have been for years. It's because truth is important and I'm here for truth. Alfred and Patty are here for truth. A lot of colleagues we have are here for truth. Some get compromised, some are in it for the money, some lose their footing and we don't name names. Um, but if necessary, you know, you know, maybe in privacy, maybe, you know, if, if we boldly need to say it, if one of us slips it, it's certainly not our intention to trash anybody, but we are in very critical times right now. And uh, so, um, you know, our lineage and cultural legacies that have been attacked, distorted, forgotten, or even infiltrated can be rehabilitated and healed. Doing this work can greatly impact the collective, future generations, and their ancestors. And what Eisenhower brought forth when he had a connection with the star beings and even Val Thor and the Guardians is that there are there have been migrations of star seeds of very, very advanced souls. And he has really stepped back saying, it's not about the governments. The governments need to get out of the way of the people so that peace can be held, that we can have peace as a humanity. And that there are a lot of advanced souls that don't believe in themselves because of a lot of the targeting. But this is one thing I found in the garage that was given to me a long time ago. And uh, I won't read it out loud, but you know, anybody who is looking at that, it's just really beautiful what it says. And I'll just share a little bit. As planet Earth nears a new millennium, the fate of civilization dangles in the balance. An age of peace and enlightenment is held hostage by evildoers of darkness. Warlords and eradicators of the environment plot to wipe out the ancient ways of the people and drain dry the life force of Mother Earth. Okay, I'm just reading the whole thing and then I'll stop. <laughs> In this darkness before the dawn, a band of freedom fighters rises from the few indigenous clans and tribes that remain. These are the children of light who carry the wisdom of the ancients. These are the planet protectors who follow the path of honor. These are the awakened wizards who play for peace. These are the wind warriors, which is also connected to the rainbow warriors and all the prophecies. Now, it's not that we're in the clan or tribe right now, but we have past lives. We have a connection to the land. We have a soul connection to the fate of the human race. Our missions are very much about this. We might, you know, with a lot of your guys' background that you talk about and, and a lot of my family lineage stuff, even just past lives that I know might not quite be connected, that there are multiple clans and tribes all over the world. And a lot of star seeds that might be born in conventional families that do not resonate with this information, that need to know who they truly are. You know, and that's what I love about star knowledge. They don't expect you to be Native American or a part of a particular tribe. They understand that there's many of us that hold this strong organic connection to the organic ascension timeline, the awakening of advanced souls, star seeds, earth light warriors, those that are willing to go into the dark and do the inner work that integrate the light and dark and the masculine and feminine feminine, which we all are working on. Um, and here's a bit about just my background. And yeah, so that particular um, presentation I just did, and you can find it on my website. Um, and uh, for a, a even lesser amount than the webinar was, you can gain access to it anytime you want to unsubscribe, you can just let me know. But the support is really helpful. I know we all on these kind of missions, we're not paid by the government. We put hours and hours and days and years into the research that we do. And um, I'm not you know, saying that it requires any kind of donation. There's free material. We understand that there's financial issues, but it certainly does help. And I thank you for just having the opportunity to share a little bit of a, a little bit about that presentation. So that's my latest news um, as far as what's kind of going on in the world. To me, this is what's going on within all of us. And I look forward to what you guys have to share because I always learn so much because you guys 
you know, um, I'm not sure what Alfred's going to share, what you're going to share, Patty, but uh, I uh, haven't, you know, I, I listen to a lot of different, you know, platforms here and there and get kind of an idea. But all I'm seeing is a lot of injuries because of you know what, and um, a lot of things we need to be concerned about, but we're solution orientated, oriented, excuse me, I always say orientated. I think that's the wrong English, but whatever, um, is to solutions, which C60, I mean, look at the results here and other things that um, come along with the information, the documentaries, uh, the books, you know, that you guys have both done and a future book that hopefully will eventually come out. But until then, I can only share what I can share um, and give the brief kind of bullet points of a much larger picture I'm going to bring forth in uh, webinars and in interviews and on a roundtable chat like we do at News Evolution. So I'll kind of leave it at that. And thank you guys. Who's next? Well, I will. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much. That was very enlightening. My first direct contact with the Eisenhower administration was in the mid 50s when I was in school in Washington, D.C. And, and I was invited to brief President Eisenhower's um, cab cabinet member, sec Secretary of Labor which I did. And after that, they uh, I was commended by by uh, the by by that cabinet member who came back and said, Oh, Alfred Weber seems to know a lot. So that uh, that the Eisenhower administration going back to the 1950s has been very supportive of my kind of out of the box uh, approach. So I find, you know, it's Life is kind of a spiral. You never know what's going to happen. So and I so many dots connect with, with and say that I appreciated that very much because we're all inundated with a lot of misinformation and disinformation, and that clarifies a great deal. And I really support your continuing to put out that information. So thank, thank you. you, thank you so much, and so many dots connect that we talked about over the years when we first met in 2010, 2011, unbelievable dots and just the journey of your book and the time travel component. So I just, and all these new books that you've written is incredible. So anyway, I'll pass it over. Um, and I look forward to hearing what you have to share always and Patty and obviously you as well. So go for it. Well, I thank do. you Alfred for that feedback too. And you guys, Alfred wanted to do the final because he's got a bigger presentation which we look forward to. And I'm kind of dimly lit because I did a major facial and I'm peeling a little bit. So I figured rather than not be on camera, I'll be on dull camera. So, hey, <laughs> sorry if I'm uh, candle lit. Um, so I do watch a ton of news. For me, I don't wanna see people's perceptions or prophecies, bear with me. I think it's great for other people. I want data. I want evidence. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I mean, it's just kind of my my way. What I'm watching is the Senate and the Congress, like congressional hearings. I am watching major politicians completely shred the heads of all the agencies. And I don't want to say any, I guess I shouldn't say names, but it's so in our face that I don't understand how it's even still going on, how there hasn't been mass impeachments. None of this makes sense because everything's so obvious, so obvious. They're just shredding Garland and shredding Mayorkas. I mean, and these are the heads of the major agencies and the border, and they're on intentionally embarrassing our country. For me, I'm watching enough to just see that Sam Britton has been in the news because he was caught robbing a suitcase of women's clothing from an airport twice and expensive luggage and showing up everywhere in women's clothing. He's a bald man, sometimes a mustache, and he is Biden's choice to um, watch out and, and distribute our uh, nuclear rods, nuclear waste. And I don't have any issue with what people do at home, but to show up at every event in extreme costume and uh, making such a scene, 
I find it, you know, an odd choice for Mr. Biden after choosing Rachel Levine to be the head of health and psycho health. Like, like it's such a slap in my face to put people up that aren't teachers that I'm asking for. And again, I'm not being sexist or any of the ist things. I'm just watching and thinking, how can this continue? It seems so not as good, good as bad, right is wrong. And I'm not straight. I am so open-minded. And it feels like it's almost like political barfing. Like literally it's like a volcano of just whoa, BS. And the amount of shredding, like right now, Trey Gowdy is shredding James Comey in, in, you know, it's on TV, it's on news. So I'm not saying things that haven't happened about Hillary Clinton. I'm just pouring out the questions and Comey's just saying, nope, it's not true. Nope, it's not true. Like 30 in a row. And he goes, do we need to continue until tomorrow? Like it should be obvious. And here she might run in, I don't know, you know, 2024. It's like, what? Bear with me. It's really embarrassing me as an American citizen that I read that these people are representing me. And Mr. Biden is just doing all of this on purpose. And he and his son have been so extremely exposed. So if I may say, I just watched a movie. It's not a movie. It's like a docu-series by Tucker Carlson. Everybody needs to see it called B-I-D-E-N-I-N-C, Biden Inc. It's two pieces put together free on YouTube that everyone has to see. It's like at least no question what's going on right now and who Who's buying his undershorts? It, it would be China. Like it's so blatant. And all the things that have been said by him on TV have been proven so not true. Now I'm not saying I'm against somebody. I'm just saying I'm watching nonstop Congress and Senate hearings. And they're just showing me like corruption that's making me embarrassed as a, not as a human, just as an American. But I'd be embarrassed if I was a Russian or a Ukrainian now, just for the leadership. Not us as beautiful people, spiritual beings, mothers, fathers, friends, family, you know, but like our leaders are an absolute disgrace right now. School. Oh my God, the school councils, the city councils. What's going on right here in my backyard is making me go, it's not way over there. It's right here near my home. Really, really bad decisions. Uh, helicopters jumping Roundup, like, because they can. Oh, wait, because they're paid. Oh, wait, why is it happening all over Colorado? Oh, money. Oh, who's paying them? Oh, city council. Oh, what, 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 what? I mean... Everything is so right now twisted that here I am in my own backyard having to tolerate cell towers now being put up in beautiful mountain areas like Huawei, China. Hey, thanks, guys. No, thank you. China. So here we are now. There's so much evidence. Biden, China. Biden, China. China, Biden. So bear with me if I'm watching it, you know, like it's right there in my face and you were mentioning something that i'm not going to say any of those words because we don't want trouble but people that are asking me what can i watch number one biden inc like everybody needs to see it right away it's free on youtube number two died suddenly you want to take people's breath away people that have fallen for the experiment people that have chosen to trust their physicians ow I can't even fathom being a good person, physician, today. I can't that's imagine. That's not medical misinformation. That's just reality. Is it money or stupidity or ignorance or cruelty? What is it that would allow somebody conscious enough to do it to other patients so their kids could go to a good college? I'm sorry. I'm just... 
you know, right now, I think that when it all comes out and it is, those people are going to have a hard time walking down the street. And I'm not encouraging anything of the kind, but people are going to be furious when they realize that they trusted people that did know, that knew better. And you can't not know now. Well, I mean, they, but didn't they pillage and destroy like all sorts of things? Nobody's ever going to stoop to that level. And they just got away with it. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to jump in, but. No, you're right. What amazes me is what Antifa got away with. What amazes me is that Kathy Hochul won. I'm sorry. John Fetterman won. I'm sorry. And Katie Hobbs won. Ah, I'm embarrassed right now for what we are watching. On the other hand, I think it just needs to be so corrupt that everybody but your dog should should understand what's going on. And probably the dogs are going to know before a lot of people. So that's my, my take on the world right now. And I still have faith. I see that it was 20 years ago or more that Patricia Cotarobulus took a group of spiritual light workers on a an adventure. And we went to all these countries on a boat in Africa. And it was really amazing. And she kept saying every day, you'll see someday soon that everything's coming to the surface to be healed. And boy, I think that's what we're in right now. So if it's coming to the surface to be healed, then we've chosen to be here to really help push it along. And we are really important right now, all of us people listening and the three of us sitting here saying, come on team, go team, go. You know, we've been chugging like trains. And um, I, I give both of you, I commend you both for the work you've done. And I have great respect. And, you know, we're just continuing on no matter what we deal with, like me, just like, no, I'll go on camera. I'll just, you know, be dim. And then it won't matter that I'm scaly, but um, it's a good thing once in a while to cleanse our skin and, you know, do a lot of things for our bodies that, that refurbish us. And that's part um, of the detox. I mean, just, that's part of the, that's part of the process. Yeah. That's why I'm not always on camera when I'm going through that myself. Yep. Well, so I, I think we're detoxing politics right now, taking a big dump in politics. And, you know, I believe in the plan and I believe in a major sweep of 365 congressional people literally being vacuumed. I await that day and I, I have a vision of the ultimate dream for humanity and it's just a major sweep of people that are really disserving humanity because there's so many good people. Why are we wasting more time on them? So amen to that. And um, I hand the gavel over to you, Judge Weber. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Okay. Um, well, let me... Uh, um, uh, we're going now to to uh, journey with the latest developments in a project that actually Laura and our mutual colleague, Andy Bishago, have helped support for the last decade. And now it's coming up to a next level. So I just wanna share screen and uh, bring everybody into um, uh, some of the things so can, can you see this? Uh, this. Yep. Oh, okay. So this is welcome to Omniversity, which now includes the original founding courses and books in exopolitics, exosciences, and spiritual sciences. And so, um, uh, what we'll do is is we're first going to go and let, let me just make sure that I'm going to go to the right places here. We're first going to go to Omniversities. Uh, this is a learning platform in uh, it's a learning platform and social media. It's an actual social platform like you've got all these other social platforms, right? Well, 
Omniversity is a social platform in exopolitics, exosciences, sci sciences, and spiritual sciences. So that's why people go there. And, and what we've done is there's free registration. So just go to omniversity.info and I'll just scroll down here. Uh, and uh, it's a learning platform. And here's the frequently asked questions. And so there's all sorts of courses, what it offers you. Uh, subscri there, there are over 24 plus classes in exopolitics, exosciences, science sciences, and spiritual sciences. You actually can take a class here from Laura Eisenhower in the Divine Feminine, which she did a number of years ago. And, and, uh, uh, and here's uh, some of the background and uh, the equation describing the omniverse. The omniverse equals the multiverse plus the spiritual dimensions. This is like a new understanding that we have of the universe, the multiverse, and the omniverse. So uh, uh, this is just sort of the landing place. And down here, you can choose your plan, which is free. You register here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the platform here. I'm just going to put in my email address, my password, and I'm going to sign in to Omniversity. Uh, and here we are. And oh, we've come up to the Divine Feminine in the Department of spiritual sciences. So we'll we'll come back to that in in a moment. Let me uh let me just hear uh got so many things here. Let me open this up right here. And so this is uh uh what omniversity is like and these are some of the courses that we have now. Uh uh, the Science of the Omniverse, A Brief History of Time Travel. Uh, there are over 20 different courses with time travelers, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, and uh, it's like a social network. We have over 400 uh, members that have that have signed up and and it's like um, it's like any, social network, but here we're devoted to, uh, you know, uh, developing uh, 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 through uh, all of these classes and courses and dialogue and, and things of that sort. And let me see uh, if I go over here and, uh, let me just put it here and see whether we can just get that going. Uh, bring this down. To so seven. many of us that have been more than human in so many lifetimes beyond, you know, this is one of the classes that that one of our faculty, um, Laura Eisenhower, as well, has, uh, that has to be uh, um, developed you know, so in the divine feminine, and uh, they're you know they're twenty or more than 20 other classes that that you can take here uh, leading up to certificates. See, a university, we, we did a deep analysis. And if you look at universities, universities were chartered to study universes of time, energy, space, and matter. They're inside the classical scientific canon, not the multidimensional canon. So universities gatekeep any knowledge or information about multidimensional knowledge about the soul, the afterlife, spiritual beings, and source or God. And so that's why we have to develop an omniversity that doesn't is not chartered to gatekeep uh, uh, the the um, to to gatekeep multidimensional reality, and here is omniversity.us, which is the publication kind of the library pu platform, 
And here, uh, people who want to study in exopolitics, the study of intelligent civilizations in the multiverse, exosciences, the study of scalar and multidimensional new sciences of time, space, energy, and matter, psi sciences, the study of psi consciousness, spiritual sciences, the scientific study of the afterlife, soul, spiritual beings, and source, or God, let, let's go to that department, the Department of Spiritual Sciences. And so uh, you can see all of the, all of the different um, books that are here. And these are the various uh, books that we've been developing all of this time, the Omniverse Trilogy, various books on the omniverse, the chronogarchy, and that is sort of the secret time travel government. Um, you see, the if you go into the chronogarchy, you'll see that what we're dealing with now with uh, a, a central figure whose initials are D, DJT, well, that's a chronogarchy, a time travel sort of drama that was set up at least in the in the 1890s so that the time secret time travel government is really pulling all of the strings now and uh here are all of the that's in our german universe here is in in a in a chinese and we've just gotten are, are getting the rights to distribute my book, The Omniverse, in Chinese, which we're doing worldwide. And that's over a billion people that will be, uh, so, which I find to be really exciting. I mean, I'm starting to think, my God, how, how to get the information about the Omniverse, this new thing, out to a billion, 1.2 billion people. That's like a really... Uh, so I'm, rather than looking at people as the other, looking at looking at it in a very exciting way, and that is bringing the omniverse to China, and and uh, uh, all of these things. And here's in Spanish. Spanish is is um, uh, you know after Chinese. Well, actually, in itself, it's it's one of the largest spoken languages. On, on, on the planet, and uh, so, uh, and we even have our. This is um, our own YouTube YouTube channel, uh, uh, with all the classes and courses there. Exopolitics and introduction, exosciences and introduction, navigating the omniverse, the CIA Mars jump room how you know how colleagues of ours would get to mars the you know there's a whole secret uh colony on mars that laura can tell you all about and this would tell you how they would get how they have all the mars colonists uh and uh so um this is uh uh what we have here so um uh this is uh omniversity and it, this is our basic portal and and uh these are some of our books also in in uh study so you can start this by just going to omniversity.info or omniversity.net and it's like instead of going to university we're going to Omniversity. And what we did is the current universities are setting it up so that by the time they get out, students graduate, they're indebted for the rest of their lives. I mean, they, you know, they're trying to get programs now to have for lo loan forgiveness. So we have set up the classes here at about the cost of a latte at Starbucks. So basically, you know, you can make a choice. Would I rather find out about time travel or would I rather have a latte? Or let me go out and get a latte and find out about 
about about time travel and and so uh this is um and we we have uh uh, a beautiful webmaster, Shanice. She's in uh, from Trinidad, from Trinidad, Tobago, um, and uh, uh, so that is that is what it is. And so I would like to outreach again, and Laura and Patty really think about it uh, to out outreach to you, Laura, to really activate being a a faculty member on on um, Omniversity again, and uh, we can work with our um, a team, our you know, our, our webmaster to help produce classes, and and uh, we have over four hundred me members now. And Patty, we'd like to invite you to come and and start creating classes in your field in the in the um, crop circles. And uh, so this is a, a, a tremendous opportunity. Omniversities are the future. Universities are, you know, uh, the universes were discovered by the Sumerian astronomers about 3500 BC. And the multiverse was discovered by William James in 18, in, 1895. Well, the Omniverse was discovered by two books that were published in 2014, including my book on the Omniverse. So let's go with the Omniversity. So I would like to recruit you both as working faculty members. And there's, you know, there's an income flow. It, it, everything pays its way forward. And we, so that's, that's what it is. So uh, oh, that's that's kind of a sum of what I'm presenting here. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'm honored and thrilled, and I just really appreciate you doing this. Yeah, great. And and uh, so uh, uh, you, you have been teaching a lot of people through your class there on the divine feminine over the last decade. And now we can, we have this new platform uh it's it's uh on on uh what they call mighty networks and spaces you know all of these new platforms are coming out and and so we built all of this to be concurrent with all of the new technology and it would be really wonderful if 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 both of you who were all together on on uh News Evolution, if if you uh, would like to become uh, faculty members to, you know, creating classes, we can link you up with our webmasters and they'll, they'll be advertising and all kinds of stuff, so. Oh, that's incredible. Well, yeah, it's gonna definitely be like the integration of the masculine and feminine, why there's attention on the divine feminine, not to like take over or squash you know, the, the expression of the divine masculine mm -hmm. and need to heal, but why is there extra attention on, you know, this importance of at least understanding just uh, that archetypal journey that within men and women we experience. And um, definitely it's been what I've been wanting to put out there, which I have for a long time. I, I don't want men to think that, you know, it's all about that, but I know you understand Alfred, the need for some attention on this for balance to be restored and just the whole concept of the inner sacred union in order for us to move the frequency fences out of our DNA so we can upgrade and begin to live in higher earth energy. So thank you for your support and just this mutual support we all have for one another. And I really look forward to being a part of this. So thank you thank very much. You. Oh, excellent. Good. So that, that's the piece that I, that I wanted to uh, share with everybody. Uh, today god look at the art behind you with the drum and the beautiful art i just couldn't help yeah, it yeah that that was actually uh uh one of our housemates uh uh is is in is indigenous and is an indigenous artist and was uh gifted us some of his paintings 
and uh, that's that's part of it. You're looking rather indigenous these days. Yeah, I I'm actually Taino. I'm, I, I, I I've had a uh, a DNA test done, and I, um, on on my mother's side, who's who's from Cuba, uh, I I have the DNA of the Tainos who were the uh, the indigenous inhabitants of Cuba uh, when the Spaniards came. Wow. Well, um, you know, I was into the crop circle research until ufology, I'll just say, changed its frequency. But I've been blessed to work with, like I said, the scientists. And just to see the two of you, you and Laura, flourishing like you are, and even realizing, wow, it is the C60 Evo oil that's giving me more energy. It does. There's no doubt about it. And how we've expanded the line has been really fun. So I just want to encourage people, if you want to be healthier, have healthier skin and hair and more energy, be able to create products to be um, more thorough with your research. I mean, it seems like I haven't felt anything, found anything that it doesn't fix. You know, pets, the testimonials are just amazing old dogs that haven't gone up the stairs in years all of a sudden they're going up they're coming down they're going up they're coming down it's like whoa look at old bowser and um the worst testimonials of course he's humping again we've had two of those horny little pomeranian <laughs> so it brings life back you know to old, old dogs and cats and probably old gals and guys you know i mean it's kind of keeping us alive. I, I know that uh, I'm in my late 60s. Laura's in her late 40s. Alfred hit the 80 and still, I mean, it's almost, we're just pumping out so much work. And I'm really proud to work with both of you. And we all do in common take C60 EVO, evolution of the carbon 60 industry. It's called ESS60 and it's not C60 it's the highly manufactured to be safe for humans and pets, not industrial grade C60, which people need to be mindful when they're buying C60, carbon 60 products to get stuff that's guaranteed to be safe for humans. Yeah, there was a um, a question under our video. They weren't able to find the larger bottle that you were talking about. Um, if you want to just check the comments, there's a few questions I don't know how to answer on the recent video we did, Patty. Oh, um, if you go to our website, c60evo.com, there's a banner that's bright red. We've got a special going on big bottles. So you can just tap that banner and it'll take you to big bottles. And you can save 10% if you use Alfred's code or Laura's code. Um, they both have it on there below us. And whoever's work you follow, um, feel free to put their name in at the end or in your uh when, if you go to check out with a big bottle, um, yeah, c60evo.com. And, and and there's a major distinction on the website. So they are very careful about what they're getting, right? And if they are getting the other kind of C60, when you say industrial, what can they use that for? We don't sell industrial. Okay. Saying so there's companies. no issue when they go on the website that they have to be careful. It's oh, just no. when they maybe are looking for a different company. Because there's not just you, right? There's other maybe less careful distributors of this is that what you're saying yeah i'm not really talking about them the lab that is our lab also sells industrial grade it has for 31 years and they sell for tires batteries solar cells over there industrial grade cc uh, but it's not on the website okay no because we don't sell it we only sell stuff for humans ess60 which is Perfect produced differently than industrial grade. And it really is like, um, they're both really good for their purpose, but you shouldn't be taking industrial or less than really clean carbon 60. And it's so good for us that you you just, why tamper with perfection? You know, I'm loving it. And I'm really proud to be partners with the guys that invented the reactor machine. It burns carbon 60 at the heat of the sun in this huge metal contraption. 
and um, I just keep people happy and they make it and ship it and um, hear you, you guys. have been incredible uh, with just the interviews that I've done, the level of intelligence of yourself. And I mean, look at Alfred's experience. Um, the people, the CEOs, the people that you've brought on have been incredible and how wonderful it has been to receive these things and be able to try them out and really be able to speak from my heart and truth because I wouldn't do it otherwise unless I had experienced it myself. And I know Alfred's no different. So um, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. We're like quarter inch from getting Roseanne Barr on. She's, oh, nice. texting, she's been texting me off and on for like eight months. And oh, you know, it's like, I can chill, you know, and we're getting closer. She keeps going, okay, okay. Yeah, I want some more. It's like, yeah, well, come on, let's do this. She's awesome, you know, and she's got, she's about to get a new show, I think, you know. So oh, um, I said- She's been collaborating a lot with Kathy O'Brien. I met her at the um, Consciousness the chemtrail uh, event. And I've been trying to get in touch with her, hoping to maybe set something up. Um, it's been hard to reach her, but yeah, I gave her a big hug and and it's amazing how much she's exposing her collaborations with Kathy O'Brien. And it's really cool to hear that you guys are in touch and she's all about the C60 Evo. Really cool. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate that you guys are finally taking it and and you know working together is what we do. We've all known each other a long time. So to many more. Yeah. See you guys next month and, and just our exchanges before uh, and during, uh, you know, the, the monthly show. I mean, we, we have a incredible friendship and alliance and uh, I put them on my feature page on my website and, um, and, and they've been up there a long time. Uh, I've been just really blown away and really happy, not just about our friendships, but everything that you guys do. I mean, they, they both go hand in hand. I mean, whether we are friends or not, I would be supporting both of you um, for all that you've done and all that you do. And thank you for your support and always your kind words. And so I guess we're going to close, right? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. But don't go away once we think so that we can schedule our, our, our next date. Okie dokie. Thanks everybody. It's been wonderful. And, um, Let's hope by next time that history has changed and um, rainbows mean rainbows again. That's what I'm saying. Nice. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.